Shalom Akim Habarim. Welcome to Messianic Moment Ministries. I'm Stephen Brook. I think you know who you are. And today is the 24th day of January 2023. Well, I was a lieutenant in the United States Marine Corps. And at that time, I had a top secret clearance. And when you go to classes regarding how to work with top secret clearance and what's required, you learn there are three essential factors in order to see anything classified. One, you have to have the proper clearance level. Two, well, you have to have access to that material, all right? Something that's top secret in London, <laughs> you don't have any access to here in America. And three, you have to have a need to know just because you have a clearance level doesn't mean you're allowed to see everything that's been classified. Now, when it comes to what God does in our lives and why, we have to meet those same conditions. When we read the book of Coalette, that's Ecclesiastes, we can see this guy is frustrated and a disappointed man. He feels that everything we do is just chasing the wind. Now, why does he feel that way? Well, if you ask me, well, and even if you don't, I'm going to tell you anyway. It's because he wanted to understand why God does what he does, why things happen that way. And since no human can ever fathom the mind of God, well, he eventually came to the conclusion to just do what you do. Eat, drink, marry, enjoy whatever God gives you while you're alive. Let's take another look at a book. It's the book of Eob. That's Job. Now, this guy has some terrible tsaurus in his life. You know, tsaurus means a curse or trouble. And he doesn't understand why. Meanwhile, his friends are telling him it's all happening because this is what God does to sinners. Essentially speaking, you know, as if they knew why God does things. Well, <laughs> They find out later when God tells them they're in big trouble, speaking as if they knew his mind, that's when they find out that they were really wrong. Now, personally, folks, I would love to know why things happen. I, I have always wanted to know what makes something tick. You know, how does it work? Why does it work that way? I'm a nerd. Okay, what can I tell you? I really need to know. But when it comes to God, I don't have a need to know. I have a need to trust and pardon me for saying so but so do you we human beings will never understand god's plan or why he does what he does if for no other reason than this god works on an eternal plane and we are stuck here in this little finite existence without the capability to think eternally Therefore, whatever God does now is part of what he knows will end up having eternal consequences. Consequences that we cannot possibly see or even understand. Hey, that's my phone. Quiet, I'm talking here. Sometimes I forget to turn it off. Sorry. Anyway, yeah, look, think of it this way. You are on the Long Island Expressway, which is known as the longest parking lot in the world. And you're driving a compact car. Well, you're next to a tractor trailer whose driver is about 10 feet over your car's roof. Way up there, he can see a long way down the road, whereas, well, you can barely see past the car in front of you. Sitting there, going nowhere, slowly, you wonder what the heck is the problem. You want to know why you are going through this, Soros, but cannot see the reason because your physical position in the traffic doesn't allow you to know the answer, which is way, way down the road. But the tractor-trailer driver can see way down the line, and he sees there's an accident holding up the traffic. He has the ability to see farther than you can, and this is the same way it is with us and God. We can barely see past our own noses. No jokes about Jewish noses now. But God sees all the way to the end of time. Now, through the Ruach HaKodesh, the Holy Spirit that indwells, through that spirit, we may have the, well, clearance level to know what God may know about a specific event. And through the Ruach, we can even have access to know it. But it is up to God whether or not 
We have the need to know. And as far as I'm concerned, we never have a need to know. But yeah, as I said before, we definitely have a need to trust. Believe me, if God wanted any of us to know why he is doing what he is doing, well, he, he will make sure we do. So unless you get some divine revelation, just trust that whatever it is you are going through, good or bad, God has a reason, and don't ask why. Just ask for help to get through it. For me, trusting God is much more important and actually much more comforting than needing to know why God does what he does. Trust and faith are two sides of the same coin, and they have this synergistic relationship. The more you trust, the stronger your faith becomes, and the stronger your faith, well, the easier it is to trust. Well, thank you for being here, and please share these messages with everyone you know and invite them to join this ministry. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so now. On my website, there's a subscribe button in the right-hand margin, and on YouTube, click on the icons here and subscribe. Make sure you do the notification thing. And I also have a Facebook group. It's called Just God's Word. Look it up. And please, you're welcome to join, but ensure you click to agree to the rules or I can't let you in. And if you like what you get here, and please, on my website, you see them. Buy my books because if you like this, believe me, you will like them too. I mean, I wrote them also. And remember, I always welcome your comments. Okay, that is it for today. So, need your throat and... Baruch Hashem.